This presentation is a step-by-step -step guide to the maintenance procedure for an ESS garter belt impact cradle. The impact cradle used for this training video was installed in May 1992 and has remained in continuous service. The first critical step in the maintenance of any ESS equipment is to ensure correct site-specific isolation procedures are followed. Most industries require at a minimum an authority to work permit, completed JSA and risk assessment, personal locks and appropriate PPE. In this example, a multi-lock device is attached and personal locks are fitted by each technician. Once isolation has been completed, test for dead. In summary, turn off power, lock out main switch, apply equipment, personal locks and test for dead. Remove safety guards and clean the work area. Wash down if water is available. Remove the M12 locking screws that secure the wing slides to the impact cradle base. The complete wing or trough section can then slide out to allow inspection of the wing impact bars to determine the extent of wear. In this installation, the existing structure will not allow removal of the wing bars in the assembled position. In this case, the wing assembly can be lowered to easily access the wing bars. To do this, loosen the top M16 nut and remove the bottom nut and bolt of the support arm making sure the wing assembly is supported and cannot fall. Make sure to note the adjustment hole used. Then carefully lower the wing slides and bars. Next, remove the two retaining clamps and slide the impact bars from the wing slides. Check each bar for wear. The wing slides can now be removed from the cradle base. Store each wing slide in order of removal to ensure correct reassembly. The centre bars can now be accessed for inspection. Carefully inspect each bar for top cover wear. If the top cover is worn excessively at any point, the impact bar will need to be replaced. Note the wear on all bars at each service, so bar replacement can be anticipated and spare parts can be readily at hand. To reassemble the ESS garter belt impact cradle, it is simply the reverse procedure to dismantling the unit. Replace the centre bars. Replace the wing slides in order of removal. Replace the M12 locking bolts and tighten. Replace the wing or trough bars. Replace the bar retaining clamps and tighten. Reset wing slides and bars to the correct adjustment hole as noted. Replace the M16 support arm bolts and tighten. Check all bolts are tight. Clean the work area, check all tools are accounted for and replace the safety guards. This procedure should then be repeated for the trough bars on the opposite side of the conveyor. After a final inspection, it's safe to remove your personal locks and sign off all relevant paperwork. This completes the maintenance procedure for the ESS garter belt impact cradle. When conducted at regular intervals, you'll be assured many years of trouble-free operation. <laughs>